we go. Hey guys. Hope you're all doing pretty good on your Friday. Here we are once more with our artistic stream. I decided to give the rock playlist a go here on Spotify. So we got a little change up this week. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up our project. As always, this meme is not gonna be a dream. We're bringing, breathing some life into Barbie. Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that there, uh, Darth. Sometimes family can be a little, uh, frustrating like that, unfortunately. And emotions can get high. But hope everybody takes some time to kind of just stand back and, you know, cool off. Cool off a bit. So hoping for the best on that. Okay. Well, we're gonna pick right back up here. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Obviously, on the clothes. Uh, gonna make some new layers. Uh, you know, we'll just call this layer though clothes. You know, let's just put that all into put the clothes into a folder. I think just because there are gonna be so many layers for the clothes. Close. We're going to call this one the base. And we're going to need at least, I think, three more layers. So at least four layers for this one. Uh, well, and we'll just call them second, third, and fourth, I think. And we're going to go because turn that off and then we're gonna go ahead let's bring Barbie back up all right so right now on second layer also what we're gonna be doing is we'll be doing a little bit of coloring we'll be getting our base uh, design with our paintbrush which is right here with our paintbrush, uh, oil paint as I like to use. And then the rest of it will probably be one of the uh, spray paints. So it looks more blended, more tie dyed like that. And now for the second base, okay, let's look at the colors we have. We've got blue, you've got pink, that looks like orange and yellow. There's some, a couple of purples in there. Uh, if anything, the purples will be on top for, will be on the details. Um, will be on the details layer because it's the least color there and it seems to be on top of everything so we've got blue down here for our base uh, I think the next biggest color we're going to be using is going to be the pink so let's go ahead and grab I think I like that pink the most there so we're going to grab that and that is still a little big for my liking let's bring this down half to 25 Let's bring it down further to 20. We're just gonna kinda just work that right about here. Uh, that definitely working that here. Be that, as you can see, that's already just already gonna be on top of our blue. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll make this whole bit right here pink. Wait a minute. I mean, yes, we can't go outside these lines. Yeah, we we, we can't go outside these lines. That's permittable. Where, why is this black line on the bottom? Is my question though. Why are you on the bottom line? I need to find where you're at now. Line. Okay, you're the baseline for the reference picture. That's that's what that black line is, I bet. Yes, okay, that's what that black line is. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. We're good. We're good. We're okay. Uh, anyway, 
back to our pink we'll be using the airbrush around these corners for this and then obviously we'll be doing airbrushing for the orange over this coloring here bring that in even though that does look red we're gonna we're gonna make it pink because I probably won't be doing a lot of shading but if I do do shading <laughs> do do anyway if I do do sh shading uh, we will come back to it and fix it somehow <laughs> do do <clears throat> anyway we're, 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 we're mature here we're mature I swear maybe well I mean yeah I do swear but you know what I mean And then we're just going to go ahead and grab our soft. Yeah, we'll grab our soft. We'll bump that to a 15. And basically, I'm just going to be coloring until it blends our solid line, as you can see. Just like that. Just zoom in a little bit and just kind of try and hide that line. We'll just swing around like this. And I do this, uh, I, oh, the ice cream man just dropped by. Hello, ice cream person. Uh, and this is the kind of blending I do uh, on my, hello there, TK. Um, on my OC when I do his different scale colors as they kind of just blend into each other. But yeah, we turn that back on. We've got more of that blend going in here. Um, let's go ahead and just throw a little bit more there. Right there. Uh, obviously, this area will be covered up by the other colors, as we see, you know, obviously here in, in uh, like, you know, this is going to be our orange. Uh, you know, this should probably be our pink here, too. We'll put some, we'll do some pink right up in there, too. Uh, and that's going to be our purple. But I guess turning this layer on, we're getting more of that blend look right about here. Hello, Womp. Hello. Uh, anyway, back to our oil paint. Let's bring the paint in here. And we will be doing this uh, bedazzling, I think, somehow. We, we will be working that in one way or another. I'm just gonna go ahead, spray that, and let's turn our blue on and see. Yeah, there we go. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Oh. Yeah, we'll just orange up this whole section here, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and spray this area. Let's just go ahead and spray this area. Kind of get some cross uh, in, I think. There. And we'll make this yellow here. Keep that blue there, blue and yellow there. Okay. Uh, for our secondary color here up on the hat, though, we've got our base. We decide was the pink up here on the hat because there's just most of that is pink up there. Um, so I think our secondary color up here will be the orange because it seems to be most of the orange is secondary up there. And it looks like, again, purple is just like that final layer up here. It doesn't seem to be a lot of purple anywhere. And I really want to get that like bright orange. So let's... I'll grab that one right there. And we're going to head just grab this. I'll put it right here. We'll go back, go back, make it a little smaller. Make it, make go with 15 here. Yeah, 
Uh, let's see. I'll take the body off real quick. No, I'm not doing the bill. Oh, well, that's fine. I'm not doing the bill. So we could just go ahead. No, we'll keep that off for now, actually, I think. Wow, we got uh, got lyrics going on here. Nope, not that way. All right, we'll hold that there. Uh, back to our paintbrush, just kind of just color in up here. Oh, it's a Jesus song. Jesus song. Nothing wrong with a nice Jesus song. We'll let it. We'll let it go. This is royalty free after all, and there is no greater royalty than the King of Kings. So let's just look at it that way. It's nice and positive, guys. Nice and positive, that's all. Uh, let's see here. Let's turn the base on to take a look. Yeah, not looking bad. The blending is looking pretty good there. I'm sure when we start getting the other colors like uh, like the purple and the pink in there, it'll look a little bit better too. Or the blues, I mean. Maybe I should make uh, a little darker right there because that isn't exactly as bright as the other pink. Again, we'll work on it. Uh, we'll make this... Actually, no, let's make this orange over here. And there go the clocks. That could stay pink down there, I think. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right. And you know what? Since we're here anyway, let's go ahead and work on our third color, which is going to be the blue up here. Get that nice bright blue right there. I'm just going to put that right here. Uh, wow, I actually might need to, uh, let's bring these up here, because I've got to turn this down a little bit, because those blues are matching oh so perfectly, it seems, so... All right, let's go, okay, there, all right, that's fine, okay. Let's just go ahead and bring that back down to about, let's take that to about 80, that 80 is a good, good, good uh, saturation. So we're gonna go ahead and just, color all of that in right here, lift our pen, and then finish off, lift up, and then we're gonna grab our spray in There we go. And get our brush back. A little bit of blue here. And I think I'm just gonna do that. Spray that just like that. It seems to be all the blue here. Let's go ahead and turn that base on. There, see that's looking pretty good now. That's looking pretty good. Turn this back up to 100. Yeah, look at that's good. Let's uh, get back up here in the colors. Yeah, it's starting to come together. It's starting to come pretty much together. All right, third layer. Down here on the body, though, 
Uh, let's see here. We've got the blue and the pink. Uh, let's grab that orange. Let's grab that orange here for three layer three down here on the body. Um, let's go ahead and grab the orange from up here because that is that much brighter. There we go. Let's move on down. And we're going to go ahead and again, just oh, go back, get our brush. And just again, on, just on the inside a bit, away from the where the edges will be, because the edges will be that sprayer. The airbrush, as it's called. That's basically it, but let's go to our airbrush now and just airbrush and blend this all together now. You know, we'll, we'll add a fifth layer because these jewels will probably be our, on our detail layer. Wow, this uh, this all kind of sucks. All right, let's go ahead and turn our base on here. Oh, yep, there's some we can uh, just keep coloring in right here. Okay, that's my screen I'm seeing a smudge on. All right, let's just go ahead and bring our brush back and just kind of fill in some of these leak throughs I'm seeing. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty good so far, I think. A little bland down the shirt, but I think that's just because we're still kind of missing There's just a lot more blue on that shirt than I initially thought, I guess. But yeah, the, the yellow will help a little bit. Yellow's going to help a little bit. Uh, let's add that fifth layer real quick before I forget. Fifth. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and skip this on because I'm not a fan of it. And now I'm going to go back to, back to the picture after some Kool-Aid. Mmm. Mmm, tastes like Jonestown. Anyway. Go ahead, turn those off. Layer four will be the yellow down here. Let's see. It's looking kind of dark down here. Uh, Barbie and her bulk face. Well, I mean, he, the reason Barbie does look a little bigger than Barbie normally would um, is because this is based off my Paladin uh, in my current Strahd game. So, you know, she's going to be a little little bulkier than what Barbie would be, normally be. So that's that that's why she's got a little bit of muscle in the arms, a little bit more in the neck there. Because, you know, when you, when you live in your armor and you got to lift that every day, yeah, you're, 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 you're going to be a little bit bigger than the normal, than, you know, your average, average person. Tonal wise, I, th I would think. I would think, you know. And also, who doesn't like a bit of muscle on their on their friends, you know? On their characters, on their OCs. Who doesn't like that? And what I think I'll do is I'll just turn all these other colors on. So 
I paint this in because, yeah, obviously in here I'll be covering that in yellow. But let's get our brush out. Get that. Let's just get our... There we go. We'll just airbrush that all in again. Go look at that. Now we'll go ahead, zip that right off. And let's go ahead and turn the face on. Let's look a little better. We'll put a little more, oh, a little more airbrush in there. Let's kind of solidify this area right here, I think. And we'll go down to secondary. Yes, secondary. Grab the pink real quick. Just feed off that a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's not looking bad. It's looking all right. That's looking all right. Uh, we're basically just missing a couple little purple highlights in there now, aren't we? Yeah. Maybe I'll do, maybe we'll do some red as well. Red, purple highlights, I think. Uh, let's see. All right, fourth layer. What do we got here so far? We've got the pink. Got the blue and the yellow. The orange, yes. Orange is gonna be the fourth layer up here because we don't have orange yet. No, we do have orange. Pink, blue, orange. Okay, well, no, it's gonna to have to be yellow then. Yep, we'll keep going with yellow. Let's grab the yellow again from down here. That's why it just stays matched. Let's kind of just color this in a little bit and get that stripe here. Oh, turn that off because this goes down, yeah. And then with our airbrush. There's our airbrush. Uh, let's, yeah. We probably should have done this whole little section. Yeah, you know, let's do that. This whole little section right here is just going to be airbrush. And we could just uh, cut that off there. And then we'll just swing our airbrush around here. There we go. Hey there, Digiman. All right, now that we can see what's going on, let's go ahead and Brush in the airbrush the rest of this in, I think. And I'll go ahead and just clean this up a little bit there. Clean that top up a little bit. We'll be cutting out again just a lot of this blah down here because that's where our frame is going to be. I do want to go back and redo the eyes. I think they do need some uh, 
adjustments fifth uh that's the highest spell fifth they are fifth there's gonna be that purple in there so we just shut that off again Let's see what that purple is compared to uh this purple down here Actually, I think I like that one a little bit better, actually. So we're going to go ahead and use that purple here on our fifth layer. that like that and we'll come back and get some of this red over there uh, is there any more purple hiding around here that nope, doesn't look like it that doesn't look like it oh that's right we got some purple up here oh we did get the uh, pink up here either well We'll come back for that, but let's get this purple right here real quick. Uh, actually, you know, I think this purple could just be the spray. So let's go ahead and turn that base on. We're just going to go ahead and just color that in with the airbrush all along that. Turn the base off. Yeah, and then, the, and then we'll just have our pink in there. Welcome back. Uh, the background music, it is the uh, rock playlist. The rock from, Epide from Epidemic Sound. It's their rock playlist. And currently, we're, this is the High Energy by T-E, by O-T-E. We've got to, we got to get that playlist. Well, we'll, we'll make a border up soon for the, uh, we'll make a border up soon for the art and the video streams. That way, information can be displayed here and whatnot. Uh, ba -ba 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 -da -da. Purple here. There we go. Um, oh, get back to our brush. Most of this is just going to be purple over here, I think. There we go. Yeah, no worries. No worries. It's like, again, probably next week, instead of working on the intro screen, we might uh, we might end up working on a border for... Uh, let's make this a little smaller. We might end up working on a border, at least for the art streams to begin with. Because there are some things I would not necessarily want to hide on the screen, but... Can, I can better it can make a better use of screen space because like at the bottom of the screen there's that little black bar because the program doesn't fully fit um, uh, OBS's screen as you can see that's why there's that little black bar down there under the uh, picture okay it's not bad we gotta do some uh, some color cleanup but you know that's that's all gonna happen uh, turn this base off, and where's the pink here? There's pink is second layer. Let's grab the pink again. We're gonna put that here. And that will just swing into that. There we go. Oh, that's right, we're gonna do some red. So gotta go back and do that little swaths of red. Anyway, we're just gonna grab our bring our base up there we go look at that we missed all of this here that's why it's always nice to have a base color to act as uh, a backfill for everything which is uh, we do have a backfill we have backgrounds but we do not have a backfill that's fine that's fine we'll, we'll, we'll put one up eventually and, uh, let's see is that all the yes that's all the shirt layers uh, I like how the hat turned out. Vadi, not so much. Oh, 
we are missing some part we, we still haven't fully detailed in the purple down here that's right so it's fine that's fine uh let's see grab our purple back get our airbrush airbrush around here there we go uh, get the pen or the oil paint Yeah, not looking bad, not looking bad, but we want to do that. I want to do that red now. So turn the base off. Turn that secondary off. There are little bits of red here. Uh, let's see. How do I want to work this? something around there. I mean, I know it's the shade. That's that's what's making me guess this red here. No, 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 no. What? I, it. The, it's it's just how the coloring is falling on the hat compared to how it's falling on the shirt. That's what I'm not. Uh, that's what I'm not that's what I'm not looking at right now. That that that's what I'm looking at right now. Like if I go at like let me go ahead and just remove this right real quick here. This Let's go ahead and just get that red out of there. Yeah, it's it's just on the hat, it looks like it's blending together a lot better than it is uh, compared to the shirt, is what I meant. And it might just because the visor is smaller and it just feels like it works better but i don't know like i said it's just i like it, it i think it's working better on the head that is on on the shirt that was the wrong way to zoom and maybe because there's just so much blue remaining on the shirt comparatively.
But oh no, it's basically the same amount of blue remaining on the shirt that is in the basic picture. Except for a couple of spots. Maybe when I add those, maybe when I add the diamonds in, it might help. We'll see though, we'll see. Uh, there's still some areas I need to add a little bit of pink here. So pink is secondary. So let's go ahead and grab our pink again. Go to our second layer. And that might be it. Um, but I mean, obviously I'm just working with the tools currently supplied to me in, uh, in Clip Studio. I mean, if I wanted to, I could spend dozens of minutes, if not a couple of hours, just digging through all of the uh, brushes and pens and everything that is available for mods in the, in this. Uh... All right, well, to catch you later, Darth. Uh, try to have yourself a better evening there, buddy. But, uh, you know, You know, just the dozens and hundreds of pens and markers and stamps that people have added modded into this program. But it might also look better after we, you know, bring in our crop too. You know, get getting rid of a lot of this baseline down here. It might, that might also help because. Um, where is our background? Here, here's our background, yeah. Because let's just turn everything off real quick. Where my, where, where are my back, backgrounds? Why aren't you open? Open, please, there. Oh, there's our backfill. Oh, backfill. Now, uh, granted, you're not colored, but still. Oh, okay, anyway, backgrounds are on. Let's go ahead and turn our refs off. But yeah, like, we'll be cutting off basically. A lot of this right here we might maybe bring it up a little bit i just gotta bring or bring some of these colors down but it might just also be just all this open glob right down here too that i'm not liking all that much but you know we, we're you know we're, we're not done yet too so so we'll, we'll we'll get there we'll be getting there anyway He's got the basics down. Okay, let's go up into our details. Uh, oh, that's right. We got to get the uh, got to get the elbow pad. We'll grab the yellow for that. Uh, bring our brush size back up to fifteen. What are you? Where are you? Are you on my... Oh, you're annoying me right there. Where are you? I gotta find you now. I have to find you. Okay, you're one of these layers. Are you in the clothes layer? No, you're not in the clothes layer. Are you in hands? No, you're not in hands. Are you in the body? Yes, you're in the body. Uh, smaller eraser, smaller eraser. Die, you smudges. That only I can see at that level. Alright, close our lines up. Open our colors back up. Uh, we have to do this sign eventually, don't we? Yeah, we have to do this sign eventually, don't we? Uh, okay. No. Um, no, we're good. We're good. We can make this. We can do this. We got this. Um, so, uh, how about...
new folder. We'll call it signs. Siggins. We have the mat and the border. And for the mat, we're just going to grab that color there. And let, let's go ahead and just Where's our, where's my fill? Blah. There we see. Hey, look at that. We got that done. All right, turn that off. <clears throat> and then for the border, we're just gonna grab this lighter gray. I said grab this lighter gray. There is not much difference in these grays, even though it looks like there is. What the hell? Anyway. Uh, border now and we're just gonna go ahead and oh you must go grill steak I had I grilled burger earlier I had burger as my pre-stream meal matter of fact I still have like a quarter of cheese burger sitting next to me right now that shall wait there until uh a break of some kind. Wait a minute. Can I just do this? I could, but I won't. I could do it like this, though. So. Aha! Ah. Uh... Go back. Use this. Do that. Aha! Um. You, but you will be good at it, Grimos. You will be good at it. It's called practice. Do our Dr. Chef proud and practice your steak making. Practice your cooking. I forgot which button I wanted to push. God, this guy sounds whiny. Okay, that was fun. Okay, there, not a lot of bands can make the party horn work, but I think these guys did it. Oh my goodness. There was a gap in there somewhere and we found it. We found it, team. All right, and turn on border. And then we're gonna go ahead and clean up. Give me a second there, Cass, and I will read that wall of text. And I mean that in a good way. There's just a lot of it. So hang on a sec there, buddy. We finish cleaning up real quick. You know, since I'm here, I might as well clean the lines up too. Because I can't have signs going through her fingies. That would be weird.
Well, you can tell I really wasn't thinking about that when I did some coloring here. Okay, there we go. Oh, well, obviously the letters will be redone later. Wherever they're, whatever layer they're on, that's what layer they're on. That's what layer they're on. Yeah, that's what layer they're on. Okay, give me just a quick second here about panel pattern. I was talking about it. Let's go to macro pattern. Let's press it well. Transition so it works good as a guideline. If free handing, tracing does out. Oh. The heck, uh, does someone have a lot of straight line transitions? Pattern helps. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh no, no, you, you hey, you don't, you know, you don't, don't think you're over talking with them. No, it's, it's good to hear someone who has an insight or an input to something like this. Because, again, I was just following what I was seeing, and I mean, just help look at the, you know, popping, talking image here in the corner. It's just camel patterns because wow random splotches so really not much rhyme or reason sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't that's all uh i gotta go back and do some uh filling in now let's go ahead and actually you know that backfill we had uh actually you know give me this gray here yoink and that's gonna be our backfill color there we go turn that off now Thank you. So we got that backfill on. And now back to this. And then we grab our, yep, we got Maria's there. Let's go ahead and move chat ever so slightly out of my way. Because you are on my phone as usual. And you are covering up. Oh, that's right. Okay. This is the close. Okay, this is close now. I got to go through and kind of clean up. All right, so. Where are you? Where is this layer now? That layer is in the signs. How is that in the signs? Okay. Easy problem right there to solve. Anyway, clean up. Clean up. Clean up, clean up, clean up. Uh, let's turn off all these layers first. Let's go for the base layer cleanup. Have any bleed through somewhere? Morning, Kay. Uh, no base bleed through, that's good. Secondary, yep, yeah, we got a little bit of secondary bleed through here. A little bit of oopsies. Go ahead and clean that up. A little bit over here. Looking pretty good there. Third layer, a little bit up here on the head. Okay, that song was pretty baller. Nope, nothing there. Fourth layer. Nothing here for the fourth layer. Anything up here for the fourth layer? Nope. And fifth, I know there's a little bit of cleanup, I think. Yeah, I mean, arguably, but no. No, okay, that's pretty good, I think. That's pretty good, I think. Okay. Uh, apparently, the sign is giving us issues, so I'll close that off. Sign border. There we go. Okay. Uh, that's in the lines there.
There we go. Okay. Details. What color nails is she gonna have? What color nails does she have? She's at uh, Barbie's nails really aren't painted. Interesting. You'd think they would be. Uh huh. I don't know. What color nails do you think she can she should have, chat? What color nails? Let's get some colors in here and then we'll put a pull up. Gonna get some colors going. Um I'm gonna think about change about how I wanna change these eyes a little bit. So talk amongst yourselves. How is that? Oh, it's in the face. I'm just gonna go ahead and just erase this now here. Ooh, hot rod pink. Okay, that's a, that, that's one. Let's get a couple more in here for a poll going. Uh, this poll will not have will not contain goob, so uh, you know no. No leaning one way or the other, so. And of course, obviously, we'll have to figure out uh, what colors are what on the on the sphere uh, before we uh, finalize finalize that. But yeah, let's let's get some uh, nail polish color here. What color nail polish? What do we want to see on her? Uh, turn the body up, color off. That's a little creepy. What well, if I put the lashes up on top? Maybe that'll look better. I don't know why I started doing them on the bottom either. Huh some white hiding under there. Anyway. Don't like that. Uh, make this a little smaller. Sure this is the right one. Oh no, that's not the right one. That's the brightish one, yeah. Okay. go down to a four, but I kind of like that. Okay, that's always pretty, pretty rocking. Have different colored nails. Uh, yeah, maybe. Okay, that's not bad. I don't like. Nope. Okay. Actually, I think that looks better. I think that looks better. I think moving the lashes up helped. Uh, well, looks like the only color we've got is hot rock pink, which is fine. Uh, let me just go ahead and recolor in facial features here. 
we'll see how that looks before moving on to what Hot Rod Pink actually looks like. So, back to her hair. All right, now we'll use it. I'm gonna use the monofill on the inside here. Oh, say it with me, everybody. That was a wrong layer. because I do want to, again, kind of use the airbrush on that to kind of blend in. Chi. And then we'll just grab her eye. Monofill. She got them green eyes. And... Phil. For pen, this now I think we need to do something with her nose, too. Uh, oh, right first, though, we need to get our little blend going on here. Wrong color. Uh, let's grab the darker shade I have for the skin here. We'll just put that on the nose here. Okay, this song is starting off fun. Now will turn that back on. Okay, I think that looks better. I think that looks better. Yeah, it does look better. Okay. Uh, pop, pop, pop. Okay, Hot Rod Pink. We need to figure out what Hot Rod Pink looks like. Um, I don't like doing this, but let's go ahead and give it a try. Nope, that's not going to do it. That's... Nope, okay. Uh, so, can... Oh, actually, I might be able to do it like this. Uh... Mouse, activate. That's getting, that, that's getting in dangerous situations here, but uh, we'll hold that off for now. And we'll come back to this in a second. Okay, so Hot Rod Pink. Obviously, let's start over here. Mm. All right, yeah, we'll start right about here. Are we thinking... Okay, what, what, what are we looking at, Cass, for Hot Rod Pink here? Let's start here with our base color. Uh, if you're looking for the hex, it is 255-0-134. So... What do you think? We got want to try and put a little more red in there maybe some more purple in that what do you think hot rod pink looks like
Mm -hmm. I got clogged nose. All right, well, while you think that over, I'm going to pull uh, Clip Studio back into its uh, confinements of the screen here. And there we go. Okay. All right, well, we'll, uh, we'll just use this color as a placeholder for now then, I guess. Uh, B for, buffet, for the bait brush. And we'll go ahead and bring it up to a seven. Oh, that is annoyingly loud. I love it. Comically loud, if you will. Fantastic. That is screaming. That's like, gosh, maybe I should replace the... Maybe the colors are too subdued on the body. They just look too, even though they're nearly the same, they just look brighter on the on the visor, I think is what it is. They just somehow look brighter on the visor. So we're gonna try a little something then. Just a second here. Oh, that's a phenomenal, phenomenal pink color, I think. Oh, it's so tacky. It's amazing. I love it. Okay. Uh, we got to go back to the sign, so. Uh, mats. Got to get rid of some of the matte coloring here. There it goes. Go away. And some of the matte coloring there. Go away. Figure out the hex code. FF77F, which is very screaming. Well, okay, I, I guess hex code was the wrong. Um, I've got red 255, green 0, and blue 134. That's what I've got to work with. I really don't have... Uh, I guess... It, yeah, I, I guess I really don't have a hex location, is what this is offering me. This is new. This is new. Anyway, let's just stop playing with that before I break it, because I will break it. I have broken many things uh, here on Clip Studio, including um, straight up losing my all my color palettes, and I had to rebuild them. And that wasn't all that fun. That was not all that fun. There's some blue leaking through I gotta get rid of. Go away, blue. There's some more blue leaking through. Go away, blue. Okay, so... Again, I know they're basically the same color, but let's grab this blue here. Uh, lock that in. And just... Oh no, that is a brighter blue up there. You know, let's just go ahead and just replace the colors. Because I think that's what it is. I think it's... The colors on the shirt are too dark. I think. So I want to go ahead and just replace all these colors. And that's the pink. Give me this pink. Give me this pink. I want it. You want this pink? I want it. You want this pink? I want it. Yeah, I think that's breathing more life into this shirt already. I think it was just, just the color difference. Okay. Okay, the orange is basically the same. I think the yellow is the same. Yeah, the yellow is the same. I'm almost like a percentage sure that it's the same. Let's just 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 check. Yeah, the yellow is the same. Okay, I think buffing. All right. 217. Okay. All right. Hang on a second then. Uh but no, I think I think upping the blue and the pink helped 
the shirt a little bit. I think it did. All right, back to the nails, though. Uh, and that's here in details. All right, so we are looking for... All right, well, first, let's just start with this because we already know that's 55. Yep, 255, 77, and 19. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can alter these, actually. Can I? No, I can't. Okay. All right, keep that on top. How can I get... I gotta stay... 255 is up here on the top. I have to stay on the top row. And 77 is there. Middle between red and blue. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can also just turn the... Oh, there we go. Okay, look at that. Okay. All right, 119. Okay, that's as close as I can get, I think. Because I don't know how to manually... Oh, green 19... Okay, 255. All right, blue 255. And green... 119. Okay, how about that? I got... That, that's pretty close. 254, 121, and 255. I think that's pretty close. I think that's pretty close. Now, see, I, I call that, like, cotton candy pink. That's, that's, that, that says cotton candy to me. That says cotton candy to me. There we go. There we go. Ta-da! <sighs> okay, you know what? She doesn't look all that bad. She does not look all that bad. Uh, before I change my mind, let's go ahead and move over to Brivet now. Uh, and we, we're just going to do basic matte colors first before we start attempting shading. So... Moving on. Moving on. Let's go ahead and close this off. We're going to turn Maria off, too, just so uh, I don't keep looking over and second-guessing everything. Where are the lines? Here are the lines. All right. Oh, well, we can also turn off her sign. Oh, okay. We can't turn... Well, we could turn that... Yeah, we could turn the sign off. Uh, wow. Colors. Why? There. Yeah, we'll leave that sign. Uh, yeah, we'll leave the sign. Oh, yeah, leave sign colors up. All right, brivets. We got to add our layers here. Add our layers. We could turn the sketch off as well because we are done with the sketch. Pretty sure. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Uh, let's go ahead and turn her. Like I do have some. I do have part of a. I have a starter palette for her. 
so but we will keep references on and ready turn on ken's layer we will be turning that on and off because that is just a wild pattern he's got going on wow that will be something we will shrink that down or something uh let's turn our reference layer off for now no we'll turn our reference layer on and we'll turn ken off because jesus ken but we'll turn that one off and i want to grab this picture here and bring that up there we go and no we go ahead and just move that down and this one down and then we'll just get our layers going ba -ba 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 -ba. so we have our body base which will be in our clothes folder go ahead and close that off uh hair details face layer body here we go here we go face again pretty just simple straightforward Be a little messy with the base because that's going to be underneath everything. Scrungly little child, she be. We go ahead and that could just be the lighting on that one. Cancel and yeah. apply transformation. No, just go ahead and turn that off. Yeah, we'll just. Maybe we'll grab that and pixelate over that. Well, it's basically the same thing, I think. That's yeah, so why I probably already grabbed that color then. That's right, this is the clothes layer we're doing now, so. I said we'd be a little. A little messy, a little scrungly on this one. And that big doofy smile. Because she knows she's got us in some shit. And she don't care. She had fun doing it. And sometimes that's all that matters. You made that decision, and boy, are you going to let other people lie in that bed? Yeah, not a whole lot there. Uh, the ears? You know what, the ears we will. Yeah, we'll layer up the ears a little bit, actually. Uh, what did I do with her ears originally? Were they more like that? Let's find out. Let's open the other. Let's open it. Let's open up Gamer Brivet. Where's that at? 
There it is. Yeah, okay, yeah, I did make the years based off that. Okay, so. Uh, well, since we're going off this kind of ear look, uh, actually, let's bring that other reference picture up too again. Yeah, we'll make that the softer. Actually, she's a ranger wizard cross class, so uh, our bard actually is was it was a former warlock. But my god, my god, does our now bard use her tongue like a whip? Uh, it's dangerous and amazing and dangerous. Just how well Verana uses her words. It's 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 terrifying, really. Uh, and that is one thing I actually plan on, is uh, one thing I would like to do is, uh, as I said, the best thing, that, the best thing you could do is, you know, or not, not, not necessarily the best thing to do, but like, you know, some good you can do is shield for your friends. And what I will eventually get around doing when, after we make up our, our border here is I'll have a nice little, uh, nice little, uh, window that will roll through commissions that I've gotten done uh, with the uh, artists uh, at least their Twitter profile uh, well it's a Strahd campaign so there aren't a lot of taverns really so at least that we've come uh, across really we've come across a total of two taverns right now for now uh but anyway, uh, but no, after I get the border done, uh, like I said, I will be displaying images I've gotten commissioned, mostly, uh, well, they are all D&D uh, OCs for me and the various players that have been in those games. And like I said, I'll at least have the artists uh, contact, their, their Twitter contact in there. So if you happen to like how an image looks, you can contact the person via that way. Anyway, moving on to Brivet's hair. The wild, wild, massive hair that is. Uh, yes, the brown. Yes, the brown indeed. Brown on the ears. And I do that A because I genuinely like the person's art. And B, shilling for your friends is fun. If I could bring my friends a smile, be it in the form of just a simple like or follow, I will do that. Until I am told otherwise. All right, we've included the hair, the ears in the hair because it is more or less part of it. Um, what I will do is I will color in the hair above the visor this brown. Okay, this music is like techno spooky. Oh, it's called Ghost Busting by Def Love, by Def Lev. D E F L E V? L E V, yes. I'm actually going to go ahead and just pop a like on this one. There we go. Add to my massive graveyard, I mean, library of like songs.
All right, this 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 had potential of like an 80s metal song, not an 80s metal, but 80s hair song. But the oh oh woes and hey 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 babies uh, really took it down a notch, I think. But this definitely has like 80s movie vibes to it. This song. Uh, it's like, uh, I want to say maybe something you'd see, I want to say a PG-13 movie. They really didn't, they, I mean, yes, they had rom-coms back in the 80s, but I wouldn't necessarily see it in a rom-com, though. It would be in some kind of comedy film, but not necessarily a rom-com. It, it almost had to be like a family comedy. Family comedy, I guess. Maybe. Maybe some kind of early college movie, like the kid's a freshman in college and missing a high school sweetheart or something. Maybe a big city montage, but again, this is this is about about missing someone he loves. Okay, let's see then. All right, I'm gonna turn the backfill off because that backfill is way too close to the gray we use for her hair. Hold my ground, won't stop now. Yeah, I can't quite place where this would be in a movie. Like what what it it is in a movie. It is in a movie, yes, but I just don't know where in the movie. Is it like a part of a montage where he's trying to win someone over? Or is it part of the montage where he's trying to save something, like save like the ski lodge or or the community pool. They won't stop, but you know, because like she works there, or it's like the place she hung out as a kid and wants it saved. You know, that's the vibes I was getting from that song. Wild child in your wild hair. All right. Got the grays down there. Let's go ahead and turn the backfill back on. Uh, I do want to add a little more color to, you know, let's just go ahead and just completely color in the eyes. As creepy as that will look. There we go. And we'll do that with just the mouth too, just because. Clean this up a little bit, right? Yeah. All right, and then in the hair, let's go ahead and add a bangs layer here because she does have a, that extra like fluff and poof in the front there, and she's got that tricolor hair going on. And that's what this is going to be here. And for that, what I think I'll do is let's go ahead, grab our for effect pen. Let's bump it up to a 12.
All right, let's make this one a seven because I'm liking how that's looking. Big City Montage, Michael J. Fox walks by the secretary every day. Riding a wave, way of success. Maybe Michael J. Fox, yeah. Maybe Michael, maybe a Michael J. Fox, or maybe a still undiscovered Charlie Sheen, like he was in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Uh, let's bump it down to a five here. I'm really liking. I, I'm really liking that. I am really liking this house of coming out with this. Let's bring the twelve up around here. Yes. No. Yes, uh, let's turn the body off because there is, yes, yeah, so that, that's going to be behind her head. So yeah, it's got to be like that. I'm just going to go ahead and erase this. And then I think an eight. I think that's pretty good like that. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, this is uh, April Showers by Big Girl. April Showers by Big Girl. Once again, this is Spotify. This is on Spotify. This is the Epidemic Sounds Rock Playlist. This is 100% pure, uncut rock and or roll. How dare we listen to this popular music? All right, let's go ahead and turn the Brivet's body colors back on. I see what you did over there, B. Uh, and work on her face. Work on this little gremlin's face. She has the gray eyes. So we'll just, first off, we'll just use the white for the eyes. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the body off again. You base this off the back fill. How dare we befoul our ears with this popular music? Stevie Nicks and Jason, yeah, it's it it is country. Some of these songs have been country influenced, yes. But I mean, hey, country rock is a thing. I'm surprised people consider Bob Seger country rock. Or it, you know what? That's that's a whole thing, right? It, that's yeah. Uh, coloring the eyes now. She's got them gray eyes.
Yeah, okay, see, this 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 has already has inklings of punk in it. Like, a light punk. It's, it's got that punch of a guitar. Let's go ahead and turn the background off real quick. Oh yeah, look at that. That that face looks fantastic. Face looks fantastic. All right, let's uh, let's get those teeth. Get those teethies colored. Yeah, this is kind of arcadey beat 'em upish. Oh, speaking of arcade beat 'em ups, uh, the Turtles game, uh, Shredder's Revenge is getting DLC, and they must have stuck struck a deal with Stan Sakai. Because Yusagi Yojimbo is coming as a playable character. The Samurai Rabbit. Yep, DLC for the Turtles. Um, they're also doing colors for the Turtles. Uh, so you'll be able to color the, tur color the Turtles like, um, like they have been in past iterations. You've got uh, the various... Uh, cartoon colorings. Uh, some of them are from the like game colorings and things like that. And I'm pretty sure there are some movie colorings in there as well. So, uh, yeah, things will be interesting. Uh, who knows? Maybe we can get a few guys together and uh, play it again on stream for you, like we did uh, when the game first came out. Praise Zorg. The stakes are resting. Rest well, stakes. Rest well. Let's go ahead and just grab that mouth color. Yeah, grab that mouth color. I'm just going to pop that right in the inside here. Yeah, when that game first came out, uh, when we were having Faraway Fridays here on, on the stream, we uh, we basically beat that with, uh, with just six guys just plowing away at that game. It was a lot of fun. Because that, what is it? No, it's, uh, is it six players? Or is it, it's at least four, it's at least five players. I think it's six, yeah, it's, it's five players. Oh yeah, it's, it's a, it's a very, it's a fun game. Uh, very much a party beat em up. Uh, get your friends together and just kick shell. But yeah, it, it is fun. I, I have actually played it a little bit since it came out. I gotta fix this mouth here. I have played a little bit on my own since it came out, trying to get some achievements in, uh, a couple of the, uh, uh, levels. Yeah, face. There we go. Or who knows, maybe I'll play the game with you. Yes, you, the viewer. Again, not necessarily pulling you guys into a voice yet because, you know, I, you know, there's gotta be some trust issue right here and now. But still, you could join the game. Yes, you, the viewer. Uh, uh, ear, ear. What do I want to do with her ear? I guess we could just grab this color here. Uh, but let's bring up that other reference shot here. Brivat. A little red on the inside, yeah. So let's grab this color here and maybe let's rotate it in a bit here. A little bit darker, I think. There we go. Let's get our paintbrush out. We'll bump this up to a 10. Just gonna go ahead and just color over that. 
I'll just get our eraser out. not bad not half bad not half bad uh you know let's go ahead and just take care of uh the signs real quick while we're here grab that monofill Use our little cheat tool, which is just glorious. Oh, wrong button. Want to fill up. One way. Hey, not bad, not bad. Uh, now we race. Because we can't color over the finkies. Man, those finkies might need a lot of work. Let's get rid of the lines there on the sign. Yeah, that whole straight line thing, I complete I've again I found that completely by accident. I honestly can't remember if I found it on stream or not, but it just blew my mind. Well, I randomly press the shift button. I'm like, what? What? But yeah, it's uh, it's amazing some of the things you can find just completely by accident. Okay. All right. Got about uh. 15-ish minutes left normally in the stream. Um, I might go a little long. Uh, unfortunately, the game got canceled tonight, so I'm really not up against my usual deadline. And uh, we should have some... Uh, a decent... Yeah, we got a decent buffer between us and Farming Sim. So, what we'll do is we'll at least start on the close, I think. We'll start on the close, at least get the base down. And... Uh, let's go ahead and turn Brivet off and turn Ken on. Uh, we'll at least get the base down and maybe work in, and maybe work on some of the uh, colors. But let's go ahead and try and make Ken fun sized. Okay, we have essentially made the visor fun size. Let's see if we can bring it, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, Ken has been made fun sized. Maybe there's a kung fu fight in the Augs. Um, I mean, maybe there is. Are they kung fu fighting? Are they? Is it with expert timing? 
and perhaps a little bit frightening. So we have a second, third, fourth, and our fifth cult layers. Oh ho ho ho. Oh ho ho ho. Anyway, uh, base layer for this hat will be blue. Because it looks like it is a lot of blue on the base. So. Or maybe I will still end the stream and enjoy the courtesy flush. We shall see. We shall see. All right. I'm just going to go ahead again, just like last time, color in the entirety of one color here that is our baseline. Oh, look at that Cooper smile. I, I, gosh, I, I, it looks like I really captured that, that the character in full. She is a rambunctious little scamp. We love her. We love her. Uh, maybe impulsive as hell, but we love her. If you somehow found the stream M's, uh, Love you, love Brivet. She could do no wrong, yet she horrifies Maria. But yeah. Wonderful, wonderful little child she is. Chaos Incarnate. And sweep around like that. Okay, yeah, that's just some hair we need to get rid of later. Oh, she did kung fu movies? That, that's, that sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. Uh, base for the shirt. You know, we'll do the shirt differently because that's going to take some more uh, reorganizing. So let's go ahead and we'll just keep on, keep on the hat right now. So second layer... Looks like there's a lot of the red in there, like red here, kind of pink there, but like red back here. You can even argue some red over here. So we're going to go ahead and get some red in here. Ugh. Maybe we'll make this red a little bit lighter later. I don't know, but I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of put this right here. Art de Berger. Welcome to Art. Wrong button. That's right. I can actually, not background, I want reference. That's right. I can actually just make the reference there. Go ahead, bring our ref layer back up. You know what? We're going to go ahead and put red back here. And then we'll just get our airbrush in. So just kind of blend that in there, blend it in like that. Uh, turn our base layer on. Oh, that is offensive to the eyes. It's working. It's working. Uh, well, I mean, kind of. This song, this music is Foxtrot. Foxtrot by Tiger Blood Jewel. God, that we just set red and blue like this close. That is offensive to the senses, and that's how you know uh, it's working. That's how you know it's working. Oh, steak and potato salad. Excellent, Grimos. Excellent. Most excellent indeed. Uh, third color. I'm thinking it's uh, the pink 
because there's more pink than there is orange and yellow. So we're gonna go ahead, you know what? Let's turn Maria on and grab the pink off her because I liked that pink. And we'll turn her back off because she looks terrifying without lines. Yes, uh, yes. Just, just put some neon on it. That was a good use of, qu of quote creation, Grimos. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and turn the reference down to about 80 again and get our pink going. kind of want to follow the hard lines uh, because that kind of makes out the brim of the hat and we'll get those colors separated a little bit because I don't really want to use a black line to do this separation right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start. Let's turn the blue on. Wrong one. Turn the base off real quick. Cause I wanna brush this section in but not obviously up here brush that and then just brush this hole right here secondary yes okay that is mostly what i'm going for i got a little bit more here i think Okay, yeah, I think that's that's looking pretty good so far. That's looking pretty good right now. Why are you like that? What are you? Why are you? Questions for later. Turn the base off. Turn secondary off. Fourth will be the yellow. Uh, you know what? I think if we turn the ref layer back up and grab. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and save. Thank you, computer, for reminding me to do that. Yeah, no, no, Tony's still there. Tony is still there. Um, he's not on Twitter anymore. He's not on Twitter, though, but Frost, but Tony is, is still the mascot for uh, uh, Frosted Flakes, or Frosties, as they call them in... Uh, I don't want to say Canada. It's on the tip of my tongue on where, they, on where you use the term Frosties. Uh... Is it the UK? I can't remember. And I'm going to feel like a fool when you tell me. Because I'm like, oh, right, yeah, that place. Uh, furries happened. And let's just leave it at that.
We'll just leave it at that. Anyway, uh, no, if, if you want to talk about mascots that are no more, uh, first off, let's talk about the kids at the Honeycomb Hideout. Because uh, the Honeycomb Hideout used to be the place to get your honeycomb. Everyone from Andre the Giant to, I want to say even Crocodile Dundee got there, went to the Honeycomb Hideout. Because as we all know, Honeycomb is big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not small. No, no, no. But there were also the grannies from Waffle Crisp and the granny factory where they made the Waffle Crisp. Uh, keep trying to keep us young whippersnappers away from the Waffle Crisp. But we ain't having it. We need that Waffle Crisp. Oh yeah, Andre. Uh, yeah, Andre's big. He was a big. He was a big man. Yes. Um. I probably should put some pink over here, shouldn't I? Yeah. Uh, what color is it? Pink is the third layer. Uh, I mean, Snap, Crackle, Pop, they're still around. Hawk and Rice Krispies, they're still around. Uh, Sunny is still here. Trix Rabbit is still just hopped up on that Trix. Silly Rabbit. Can't get, can't get the drugs. Um, do they still? Yes, they still have Chip for Cookie Crisp, but Chip was not the original mascot for Cookie Crisp. Uh, the original map Chip was actually the evolution of the original uh, mascots for, or mascot for Cookie Crisp. The original mascot for Cookie Crisp was the Cookie Crook, who wanted to obviously steal the Cookie Crisp. Uh, and I believe originally it was the children that stopped the Cookie Cop from stealing the Cookie Crisp, but eventually the Cookie Cop was hired on to stop the Cookie Crook from stealing the children, just from stealing the Cookie Crisp, because they are the little cookies you can't resist. And once that started, well, of course the Cookie Crook needed an accomplice, and eventually he got a dog. So it was the little cookies you couldn't resist, Kawuki Crisp. You know, the ooh, the howling in there at the end, which was Chip's job. And then Chip eventually, and then the, I believe the cookie crook finally got uh, the death penalty because it was just the cookie cop and Chip stopping Chip from stealing the cookie crisp is what it was. Uh, cookie crook. Like I said, probably hung, definitely hung for his crimes against uh, Breakfast. And obviously, Chip had to, you know, feed himself because, you know, the Cookie Crook was no longer there. Uh, but then eventually, Chip turned over a new leaf and started legitimately selling Cookie Crisp to children. And uh, orange is next. And uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. and then he eventually became Chip the Wolf, because you know wolves howl more than dogs do. So uh, that's the lore behind Cookie Crisp. For those of you who didn't want to know, there it is. Tough nuts, you learned it, and now you can't unlearn it. So yes, whenever you so now if you watch TV, 
and you see Chip the Wolf, just remember that is a reformed dog. Uh, uh, probably lamenting the loss of his best friend. But, however, don't do crime, kids, or else, you know, the cookie poli the, the the serial police will just, you know, hang you, and I'm on the wrong layer. Exactly. Exactly, Grimos. You got it. You got it. That's exactly what happened. Uh, let's see. Uh, Coco the Monkey no longer advertises for Coco Krispies. See, crime doesn't pay. Crime does not pay. Yeah, Snap, Crackle, Pop, they, they now do, uh, you know, double duty advertising for Rice Krispies and Cocoa Krispies. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and turn the base on. Yeah, I want to stretch over here. Uh, I had a look at Cookie Crisp, really miniature cookies presented. As yes! Yes, it is! Now, I mean... If you really want zaniness, um, I believe it was mini cinnamon, cinnamonies or just mini cinnamon buns as cereal. Uh, I do believe they, it is just now Cinnabon cereal, but um, <clears throat> I mean, heck, I won't lie. Uh, we used to do uh, <clears throat> uh, Teddy Grahams in milk, and that was, you know, a... That was like a homemade kind of cereal, just pouring Teddy Grahams. Uh, what color? Where is... Okay, fourth. Gimme. But yeah, the original lore behind... Actually, you know what? The original lore behind the mini cinnamon cereal was... Uh, there was a, a cinnamon, cinnamon uh, delivery boy that just got shrunk down. And that was his lot in life. Oh yeah, Teddy Grahams are here to stay. The tra taste is true divine. Nothing else will get my... Will get, here, here, you know what? Here, let's... Let me see if I can find the commercial. Okay, Spotify, shut up. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Teddy Grahams rock commercial. Because that's the one that sticks in my head. Uh, I think this is it. 88, 89, probably yes. Uh, let's go ahead and just kick this up. Loading, come on. I don't know if... No, no, this isn't the one. Oh, I forgot about... No, that's, that's not the one I was thinking of. This oh this one has to be this was probably in here this was probably in here. I'm so glad to find it. Okay, yeah, that, that was a commercial that sticks in my head. Yeah, that's the one that sticks in my head. Yeah. It's not as hard, it's not as rock as I thought. It's more of like that uh, 50s pop jukebox rock. Uh, but still, but still, that that's the one I I recall the I recall the most was that commercial there. Alright. Uh okay, this not that bad, not that bad. I think what I need is just more uh I think what I need is maybe make the airbrush bigger and just get more of a blend going in some of these things, I think is what I need to make it look the way I want it to. 
or how I, how I have it thought in my head anyway. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And let's just kind of just fill this all a little bit more. That's the pink. Where's the red? The red is second. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Teddy Grahams. Uh, but no, again, the biggest serial, not necessarily crime, but mystery, is whatever happened to the other bakers of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So there were four chefs, four chefs, four bakers. Um, Wendell was, like, he became the de facto mascot after he had, like, some kind of ball-tripping adventure through other commercials. And you know what? We're just going to go ahead. Where'd the others go? I know, I know. Uh, oh, uh, what? To Google, what happened to the other bakers for cinnamon toast crunch? Yeah, let's see what happened. No, there, there were three bakers. The case of cinnamon toast crunch bakers. Uh, back in the day. Oh, I forget. Uh, I think it's Dinosaur Dracula is his new website. But uh, there was X Entertainment. That's what the website was called. X Entertainment, I believe, did a whole thing on this. This X Entertainment was a phenomenal website for stuff just retro. Hello there, Nestor. Hello. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, Wendell went to work. Okay, Wendell was the main baker, and the other two bakers were Bob and Quello. Q-U-E-L-L-O were the three, were the other two bakers. Wow, it was 1990 when Wendell went to TV land. Wow, okay, that's when the other two bakers uh, disappeared, basically. Wow. Wow, okay. But yeah, that's just, that is something. That is something. Anyway, back to the picture so you guys can actually look at something else instead of just me looking at Google with just a zoom in on a multicolored visor like that. Uh, what are we drawing? I am working on the Barbie meme uh, with, you know, Ken and Barbie from from the upcoming Barbie movie, which again, I'm going to say goes harder than it should. Uh, and I'm using two of the characters from the D and D campaign. I'm in curse of Strahd. You've got my paladin Maria here, taking the role of Barbie and you've got Brivet here. Uh, our ranger wizard cross class, taking the role of Ken. Um, it's phenomenal. Uh, I, uh Oh, what I do? I dragged and moved something here, but it didn't look like it took. That's good. Okay, anyway. Um, if you haven't seen the uh, trailer for the Barbie movie, I would recommend it. It goes harder than it should, and I'm probably definitely going to see that movie just because it looks fantastically, wonderfully stupid in like the best kinds of way. You don't understand this picture yet. Uh, well, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. basically, let's go ahead and just turn this off. Turn the lines off. And I'll get the references turned on. It'll help a little bit here. But uh, in the movie, uh, Barbie and Ken go to the real world and they get arrested. And so here are their mugshots. And obviously, Barbie is horrified because she's beginning to understand what's going on. And Ken sees a camera and is hamming it up for it. It is toys coming to the real world. Uh, is a way to describe this movie. Uh, 
Yes, Mattel, like the Mattel, yes, Barbie, Barbie the, the fashion doll by, made by Mattel. Uh, she's getting a movie. She's getting a movie. Welcome to a striker stream where, where I will talk about just random things that maybe only I know about or others have little information about. And it's just, it's, it's a class in random knowledge. I mean, you can still see Barbie. Actually, I don't think Barbie is Barbie. Out? No, Barbie isn't out yet. I think it comes out on the 15th. Uh, Barbie movie. Barbie movie, yada, yada, yada. Is it out? Yes, no, maybe so. Come on, just... When does this damn movie come out? Give me the release date to Google. Release date. Okay, it comes out July 21st. So it comes out next month. It comes out next month. Okay. All right, back to the picture. Uh, where did I leave off at? Uh, the Pfizer, right, the Pfizer. I think I got to bring that orange out a bit. I think if I bring the orange out a little bit, it'll be, I think I'll get kind of what I'm looking for. Yeah, it, it, it is a class in, 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 in random worthless knowledge. And uh, you will not be able to unlearn it once you have learned it. I just, just make this just a little bit bigger here. Again, such as talking about old serial mascots. Yeah, thank you. Uh, what is what face? Uh, yeah, that's just a dark blue. You know, maybe we'll make that a dark blue too. Maybe, maybe. I have yet to meet one that can outcolor bullet. Yeah, where's the red? Red is there. I'm just going to go ahead and do this with the red. Kind of bring it down around. Just connect that like that. Maybe I will need to make that brim line though. Much as I don't want to, I might have to, though. Yeah, I think I will. Because I'll probably be a little bit happier with that. Black, get our pen out. That's the right pen. And that will just go... Let's turn the colors off, actually, before I do that. Okay, and then we'll just close these back up. Turn the base color back on. And then what we'll do is first, let's go ahead and get rid of that. It's kind of, oh, nope, keep the pink. Here those pink was third. Color that up all on like that. All right, third, let's go ahead and there we go, take like that. 
Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. We're still pink. Yes, we're still pink. Kind of smooth that in. Let's turn the base off here. Yeah, I think the idea is just to make things a little bit bigger now, actually, I think is the way to go. All right, you know what? We'll go till the top of the hour, then I'll call it. A little bit longer than normal, but like I said, that's because I don't have my usual deadline. And that way it gives you guys a chance to do what else you may want to do with your evening. If that's wait for the farm stream, well, you're more than welcome to. If that's join Nephi in bad movie, Fridays, that's, that's, hell yeah, that sounds like fun. Let's bring that pink out a little bit more. Is that pink on three? Pink is three. You must wait a bad Friday movie. Yes, you go enjoy bad movie Friday. Uh, you take it easy, Grimos. Tell Nephi I said hi. As for a story about Chooch. I will see you tomorrow morning on System Saturdays there, Grimos. Yeah, let's make that red a little bit bigger. Let's grab our red. Okay, I think... Okay, you know what? That is looking better now that I've zoomed out. That's looking better now that I've zoomed out. Um, hmm. actually, you know, I think I lied. I think I might actually call it here. Let's clean up the head colors a little bit, though. Headlines and colors, because a little bit down here we could take care of. So I'll spend a little bit of time with cleanup here. A little bit of time with cleanup. Oh, don't want to get rid of all that. Just a little bit right now. This makes us a little bit smaller. All right, uh, yep, there's a little bit of hair color we have to clean up there. Uh, and I know there's some hair in here we need to clean up. Uh, there's some brown right there, we just get rid of that like that. There's a little bit of red in, wait, how's there red in there? Right is underneath. What? Oh, that's from the, uh, okay. Well, let's actually grab that and color that in. Look at that. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Are there some other colors we need to take care of? Not necessarily any lines now. Uh, I don't think so. I'm actually fairly pleased with the lines that we've got here. All right, well, let's go ahead and turn those lines on. Let's go ahead and turn the background on. And we could turn Ken off. There we go. Turn that off. That's looking pretty. That's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good, I think. Uh, Going to go ahead and save our progress there. There we go. And yeah, 
Yes. Uh, turn that one off. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. I'm liking how this is turning out. Uh, I really think. Uh, oh, turn the lines on the sign on there. There we go. A little better there. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Now that we've actually got the signs, uh, signs colored in. There we go. There we go. Let's get the lettering white. Save that. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I think. I think really upping the, uh, bringing the colors, making the colors brighter on uh, Maria's shirt there is what helped with that. Uh, yeah, so next week, um, obviously we will be diving into Brivet's vest, jacket, whatever uh, that they're wearing. Uh, and then probably from, we'll be doing the letterings too. And then from there, we'll be experimenting with some shading, I think. Figuring out how I want to do shading, if I want to do shading. But shading might help some things out. Also, maybe some lipstick. Uh, Maria, I'm not sure. Kind of help with her lips a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for me for tonight. Uh, thanks for joining me here on this yet-to-be-entitled art stream where we were being a bit artistic about things. Um, there's some coloring we need to finish up over there on Brivet, though, I see now. But we'll get to that tomorrow. Or not tomorrow. Uh, next week. But tomorrow, we will. I will be back uh, in the morning for System Saturdays. So join me, won't you, as we continue our playthrough of Breath of the Wild. So with that, you all have a good rest of of your evening and I'll catch you tomorrow.